there. Today we're going to be looking at um, the Tabernacle, which is a kind of tent church, and there's over 50 chapters in the Bible that mention the Tabernacle. So while the children of Israel were wandering through the wilderness, God was there with them, guiding them. God moved by day as a pillar of cloud. And whenever it would hoover and stay in one place, the people of Israel knew they were supposed to stay there. And whenever it would move, they'd pack up their tent and they'd move and follow where God was leading them. Then at nighttime, God sent a pillar of fire and that pillar of fire again would stay there. And they always knew where God's presence was. But when it would start moving, they knew that they were to follow. You know, that's the way God wants us to be. He wants us to follow his instruction. He wants us to be tuned in to his voice and to listen and to obey. Just like when the pillar of cloud moved, we should move when God speaks to our heart. And when the pillar of fire, God speaks in our heart nowadays, we don't need a cloud or a pillar of fire. Well, Moses got to speak with God up there on that mountain. And remember that God gave him the Ten Commandments, but he also told him how to build the tabernacle. He told him how wide everything needs to be, how high, what kind of material it needs to be made out of. And he told him that the Levitical priests were supposed to carry it and they were to move it wherever they moved. And they would set the tabernacle up and everyone else would set their tents up around it. Well, after Moses gave the instructions, then the people started bringing lambskins and goatskins. They brought the jewels that the Egyptians had given them when they fled out of Egypt. And they brought beautiful pieces of material, material that would be used to make the robe of the priest and to make the curtains around the tabernacle. So finally, they started working. God gave two special men who knew how to sew and how to build the furniture. And they were the bosses as the tabernacle was built. And they followed God's instructions very carefully. There was a white curtain around the tabernacle and one entrance that had purple and blue and red thread all weaved together for the entrance. There was the altar where they would kill lambs and sacrifice them for the forgiveness of sins. And there was a labor where they would wash. And then the priest had special garments that were made out of those jewels and out of that material. Well, then there was a tent in the middle and that tent was covered with lambskin and other heavy material. And that's where the priest could only go. Well, let's pretend like we entered into there and this is the Holy of Holies. They had the table of showbread. There were 12 loaves of bread there. They had the candle that stayed lit all the time. And they had the incense that would smell so pretty. Did you know that the Bible says our prayers are like incense that come up to God's nostrils? And then there was a very heavy, heavy curtain here and only the priest could go behind that curtain. And behind that curtain, there was this beautiful box with angels and their wings were stretched out. And God's holy presence came down upon that box. It's called the Shekinah glory. No one could touch that box. It had to be carried with poles, but God's holy presence was there. And the people rejoiced because God was there with them and they had a place where they could worship. You know, we have a different type of church, but we have a place where we can worship God too, right? And God's presence is right with us. He says he'll never leave us and never forsake us. And where two or three people are gathered together, there he is right in their presence. Don't you love being with the Lord?